Hello everybody and welcome back to Fernbug Simulator. Uh, <laughs> I keep calling it Fernbug because it's very buggy, obviously. So let's start game. And there will progression. And we'll go to shuttle and we want a new route. So let's go to new. And we will go from Mannheim. And I've been playing this offline a little bit um, in my own time. And I've managed to get to Mannheim, which is just here. So I'll go from Mannheim, if I can click on it, just like that, and go to um, this one here, Mainz, I think it is, just here. Now, I was thinking, when I got to Mannheim, yeah, that's fine, that's uh, 149 kilometers. When I got to Mannheim, I thought it would open up all of these other ones here. Um, I thought this big circle that we have would expand, or I'd be in the middle of it when I was over here, and it would expand like all around these ones. But that's not what happens. It's expanded, but I'm not sure why. It must be to do with XP. But anyway, let's save this, save this, and let's go. Okay, we're going to do arcade, and today I want to have a really safe journey uh, with no with no accidents or anything, no speeding, so I'm going to choose the biggest one, <laughs> the biggest bus I can find, and let's just customise it a little bit. I would like to have it a bit Spanish, because Spain isn't in the game, and I, I would like Spain to be in the game, so let's have this, and go back, and let's start game. Okay, where are they? Over here. Okay, let's do this little old lady first. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going actually. To Mainz. Is she going to Mainz? Yes. And your twin sister? <laughs> She's going to Genf, so no for you. I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, you can't go with your twin. Anyway, I'll see you when I've done all the passengers. Right, I think that's everybody done. He's disappeared. So let's see if we can close the doors, which we, we couldn't do last time. I can. What about this one? Still no for that one. Alright, let's get aboard this beast and let's... Everybody here? Let's just have a look down the bus for a little bit. Coffee making. Can we go upstairs? Yes, everybody's here that I checked in. Wonderful. Alright, let's go back to the front. And let's go. Oh, this is much smoother than the BB that we we had yesterday, and that was very loud as well. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this, actually, and I'm looking forward to not crashing it. And the most difficult part of not crashing it is getting out of the city, you know. When we're on the motorways, it's easy, but in the city, it's easy to bump things or bump into cars on the roundabout, that kind of thing. Now, I've I've changed a couple of things one of which is the uh, the traffic density I put it down to 50% and what was the other thing oh yes I've changed the sound um, when I record I record with Elgato software and I've changed the decibels down from minus 10 to minus 24 if that means anything to you it just means everything is a bit quieter in the game because I had big problems with the BB because the BB seems to only have one gear <laughs> so when it gets to 80, 80 kilometers an hour it's it's the pitch is right up there it's really loud it's it sounds like you have to change gear but you can't change gear so um, I'm not using the BB today I'm using this this wonderful whatever this is Now I was thinking not to do an episode today because I wanted to listen to Ken Bruce's last Radio 2 show. If you're British you'll know what I'm talking about but if you're not or if you live abroad you might not know what I'm talking about but Ken Bruce has been a, a staple on British radios for well 40 years or so and it's his last episode today and it's sad but he won't be very sad <laughs> but um, it's a sad thing I really wanted to listen to it because I, I love listening to Ken Bruce um, but I enjoy making these episodes too and I think that I'm gonna make I just need to check that I'm not speeding actually um, when I'm talking I'm not concentrating fully on the game but 
Um, 50 kilometers an hour, like 100 now, which is fine. Um, I've lost my train of thought now. I was talking about something, but I'm going to do this, ep this episode today. This is the third of three. And then I'm gonna not do so many. I'm gonna the next one will be next Thursday, um, and I might just do like five episodes or something, just um, just to show you how it is with the with the game and if there's any updates and this kind of thing. So I shall do this episode today, which will go out today on Friday, the third of March, I think it is, and then after this it will be on Thursdays for at least two weeks, and we'll see how it goes after that. You know. But um, let me know how you're doing with the game. I mean, we could still see this pop-ins and draw distance problems as well. You could see up ahead of me two wheels. <laughs> and there was something very amusing I saw on, on, on my Xbox today. Somebody's put a, a review to say Luxembourg is lost in, in a Doctor Who type of time and space continuum or something. And I tried to drive to, to Luxembourg yesterday in-game because when you select Luxembourg to go to, it won't give you any navigation, there's no navigation for it. So I tried to drive there myself without navigation and the road just ends before it gets there. Uh, there's no Luxembourg on the map, so sorry to you if you live in Luxembourg, but you're not, you're not in the game. <laughs> so uh, we can't go to Luxembourg, or if you found it, or if, you, if you've chosen it as your, your hometown, what, what happens when you, when you spawn there? Do you just fall through the floor or something? I don't know. I mean, I chose Paris as my, my hometown, so I don't know. So, Anyway, this doesn't seem like 50% uh, traffic density to me. This seems like normal, normal density. But I don't know. Yeah, I wanted to try and have a perfect journey today, but I've already sped, so I can't do it. But... Um, I want to see actually when I finish this is nice I kind of want to look up but I, I need to watch the road when I finish whether or not the circle of our, our range goes up you know because we have lots of German cities that are still red at the moment we can't go to um, I'd like to go to Frankfurt Airport but that's red at the moment as well and I would like to see when we finish if that circle has expanded any, it should. Exp oh, sorry, I'm just driving really badly. It should expand to encompass uh, Frankfurt and Frankfurt for Airport. I'd like to see if it does. Okay, I'll just stop the chat now, and I'll see you about uh, I don't know 30 kilometres out. So um, I'll probably will drive a bit better when I'm not talking.
I'm going to slow down because I had a couple of light accidents. Uh, I, I should have left everything in the video. Like there's a little bit, a couple of bumps. That I I thought to myself, I'll, I'll edit those out, but I just want to leave things in warts and all, you know, because um, you know, I, I, well, I'm not a, I'm not the perfect driver at the moment, and and it's 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 still not very handleable you know I find it quite difficult to, to drive a big coach like this it doesn't handle as like a car or whatever but uh, anyway I'll just make my excuses you know um, and I was gonna say I've got a I've got a Thrustmaster T248 wheel I'm gonna try that before I make the next episode and see if it works with this game because I've, I've heard people saying Logitech I think the G920s don't work I'll see if the Thrustmaster does because uh, that's an Xbox and a PC wheel and um, I'll just see if it works, you know, because it works with... Uh, there was another game it works with, I can't remember what it was. Now. It was Farming Simulator it works with on, on the Xbox. Anyway, sorry, I'm trying to concentrate on not slipping off the road. It's uh, very unhandleable. <laughs> That's another word I made up. So, I don't know... Uh, these, these wipers don't aren't fast enough. There's constantly rain on the windscreen. I'd like to make them... I need to have things so it's not automatic, I think, because wipers in my car are never never work properly when they're automatic. I always have to correct it. So are we nearly there yet? Mates, arrival 11.46 and it's 11.18 now, so we have to come off, oh, just here, I think. I nearly missed it because I was talking. Let's slow right down. So I'm interested to see if the, the the map has expanded now after we've done this, whether I've got enough XP to expand the map even more. I think that's what the XP pays for, because if it doesn't, I don't know what it pays for. I would like to have my own bus company, like in ETS2. I'm always going on about ETS2, but I'd like to have my own bus company, buy my own bus, and have people come for me to work for my bus company. I wonder if there'll be like a DLC for that in the future. I, I would love that. But there's many more things that they have to fix in this game first. But um, I don't want to be too down on it, you know. I, I do enjoy playing it, and I've enjoyed doing this this route today. But it's always a natural thing, I think, to look at bad things before before good things. If you if you know what I mean, like if I go to the if I go to the supermarket and there's no tomatoes, I'll come home and say there's no tomatoes at the supermarket. But if there are, I won't say anything. <laughs> it's just you, you tend to see the bad thing before the good things, don't you? That thing about Luxembourg not being at, in the game or anything, or, or the, all the roads disappearing, is just <laughs> ludicrous. Really, they should have. I mean, don't they play it before they before they put it out? It's just strange, very strange. There are some strange things, but like I said, I am enjoying it. If I wish I, there was more coaches to to drive, that's the only thing. Um, if you go to DLC at the start. You click on DLC and there's nothing there's nothing there. I can't even buy new coaches. I don't really want to buy new coaches anyway. I I just want to kind of have them when you when you level up or whatever, new coaches. Anyway, I must concentrate because we're getting to our destination now.
I'm not sure I'm going the right way, but I'm going to continue with it. Um, I think it's up here. It's there, but I have to be on the other side of the road. Um, okay, so can I just turn around? Let me see if I can just turn around. It's too long, isn't it? I think I have to go round somewhere. Let's just see what I can do. Here. I'm going to turn around here. I don't know where this car's going. This is a this is a bus turning circle. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, that's just crazy. Oh, flipping heck. I'm so annoyed at that. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to leave that in the video. But, you know, that's just really, really annoying that the car would do that. I should have, I should have foreseen it, actually. Uh, how annoying. Okay, let's, let's complete now. And how did we do? We've got 1,800, 1,842 XP. Economy is okay. On schedule, traffic rules, no. Uh, traffic rules. Properties damaged. <laughs> Driving behavior. Okay, continue. And let's interact with map. I just want to see actually, let's go to main menu. And let's see if the map has expanded. We were over here. No, it hasn't, I don't think, unless it's expanded upwards or something. But we can't get to Frankfurt Airport. Okay, so I'm not sure what happens, you know. I, I mean, maybe we can get to somewhere down here. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. And the next episode will be next Thursday. And then maybe one more after that, and then we'll see. So thanks very much, and bye for now.